with many working families and businesses still struggling in a rapidly changing economy, our top priority in Congress should be helping to ensure that every American can succeed in the 21st century and invest in the foundations we need to sustain long-term economic growth and security. To sp spur robust job growth, we must expand access to opportunity and build an economy in which anyone willing to work hard can get ahead and build a better future for the next generation. We should make investments in our education system to provide the training and skills that workers need to be prepared for the jobs of today and tomorrow. We should also support our colleges and technical schools that can help prepare the next generation of farmers, manufacturers, and innovators. That's why I strongly oppose this destructive budget resolution. The majority had an opportunity to work on a in a bipartisan way to create jobs, build an economy that works for everyone, and invest in our communities. Instead, this budget leaves the middle class behind by gutting funding for basic necessities like health care and education. This reckless budget cuts investment in early childhood, K through 12, and higher education programs. But it is our responsibility to ensure that every child in the United States has access to a world-class education no matter where they live or how much money their family makes. That's why I strongly support increasing federal funding for core education programs like Head Start. We all benefit when every child gets the opportunity to succeed, and we must invest to give our most vulnerable children that chance. This budget also continues the, the destructive cycle of neglecting our already crumbling infrastructure. This budget would cut transportation spending by over $250 billion over 10 years, a 25% cut. We know our roads, bridges, and transit systems are in disrepair and fail to move as many goods and people as the economy demands. At a time when so many Americans are ready to work, it makes no sense to defer these investments any longer. The longer we wait, the more costly the repairs will be in the future, and the more economic opportunities we forego that our communities desperately need. Every dollar we spend is a reflection of our values. I'm deeply disappointed that this partisan extreme budget demonstrates utter disregard for middle class Americans and a complete lack of vision for what our future could look like with smart targeted investments in the people and projects that truly lift up hardworking Americans that we should be helping. Slashing programs that help families trying to get ahead in order to slash taxes for the wealthy has never led to jobs or economic growth and it never will. Thank you and I yield back.